Hi, today we are going to learn about reading absolute value inequality graphs for one variable from a number line. Let's look at a problem. Write an absolute value equation for the graph shown. We can see two hollow circles on 2 and 4 and the solution is represented in between these two numbers 2 and 4. So we can say the solution is given by 2 less than x less than 4 because the solution is lying between 2 and 4 and since they are hollow circles that is why we use the inequality less than. Now in order to get the solution we need to use the middle point of these two numbers the corner points. So m is equal to 2 plus 4 by 2 that's 6 by 2 that's 3. So we'll subtract 3 all the sides. So 2 minus 3 is less than x minus 3 is less than 4 minus 3. This implies negative 1 is less than x minus 3 is less than 1. This implies absolute of x minus 3 is less than 1. Which is the answer in the D part. Next problem. Write an absolute value equation for the graph shown. Here the solution is going to the left of negative 5 and at negative 5 at minus 1 and right to the right of negative 1. So I can say here x is less than or equal to minus 5. x is greater than or equal to minus 1. Take the halfway middle point. m is equal to minus 5 minus 1 divided by 2. Minus 6 by 2, that's minus 3. So, from these two solutions on both the sides, subtract minus 3. So, x minus minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 5 minus negative 3. And x minus minus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 1, negative, negative 3. This implies x plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 5 plus 3 and x plus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 1 plus 3. This implies x plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 2. x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 2. This implies absolute of x plus 3 should be greater than or equal to 2. So which is the answer in the D part? Next problem, write an absolute value equation for the graph shown. The solution is at 1 and 5 and between 1 and 5. So we can say 1 is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 5. We can clearly see the middle way is at 3. So let's subtract 3. 1 minus 3 less than or equal to x minus 3 less than or equal to 5 minus 3. Minus 2 less than or equal to x minus 3 less than or equal to 2. This implies absolute of x minus 3 is less than or equal to 2. Which is the answer in the A part. You can highlight that. I hope you can practice more problems on reading absolute value inequality graphs for one variable from a number line now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.